What up, Chum? Gotta pause that. Arcane soundtrack. In fact, that's all it's selected. Should have the Edge Runner soundtrack. Dedicated to everyone who watched that fucking show and loved it. Anyway, we're here with uh, another speaker amp, which I know you guys are getting bored of speaker amps, and I've already done the Sabage stack where there's the A10As, then there's the A20As, which are the bigger versions, and they're only a little bit more money, making like $400. And then if we come over here, I've got the Topping LA90, which is like, oh, they, oh, it's got the waifu sticker on the top of it. And this is $900, and it's like as clean as you need to get, but then it doesn't really stay clean when you push it. And then I've got the Stark Rimsons, which were like 1600 bucks, and the best, like, that's it. That's it, you're done. I even got them sent back and higher gained. So Zeos, why the fuck would I even care about another amplifier? Well, I think we care now. Hold on. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. <sighs> when you hold, sorry, I had to take the lens off, change the mode. So now we're in better color. See. This is the sort of shit that Zeos has to do to make it film from there to here. Anyway, so we're back in the speaker testing arena. We've got Rebecca on the screen, even though it's just a screenshot from the show. It's in the wallpaper hoard. Go watch Edge Runners. It honestly, it's a show. I didn't call it an anime until I had to move it to my folder. It's a show. We've got the Bucard S300 Mark Ones up, and we have the Sonkaz SGP1. I think. Let me double check. Because the problem is Sonkaz makes um yeah, SGP1. Sonkaz, if I can click it, uh Lin Sol sent this out. And the the, the thing uh, Sonkaz makes do you remember that one? The LAQX D1, and I wasn't gonna call it that. They apparently make this, that's new. That's the QXA1. They make the SGA1, which is the amplifier, and then they make the SGD one, which is the DAC that I'm using to send signal to this and control it. And now for $1,099, they make the SGP one. And it comes either in, oh God, it, it switched to silver as I hovered over it. Comes in black or fucking uh, silver. Uh, silver, silver. So this is a class AB amplifier which is old school. All right, so here's the thing. You probably own a class AB amplifier. Every surround receiver that was mostly ever sold, class AB. Class A is like very, very vintage level shit, super inefficient. Tube amps are class A. Class A, like solid states, if they're a 300 watt per channel amp, they draw like 700 watts all the time. As soon as you plug them in and turn them on, that's it. That's what class A does. It never turns off. It's constantly, it's on, it's on, it's full, it's full fuck. So class A wasn't gonna work for like most things. So there was then class AB was developed. A lot of like the older vintage stuff that I have here, this Pioneer VS XD1S, this Japanese made one, it, it's class AB. It means when there's no sound playing, shuts off or at least it, it, it lowers the power consumption uh much much newer stuff class d stuff which doesn't stand for digital but class d and class h stuff is even more efficient where like it, it doesn't even like power when sound's happening it's just it's wild it's wildly efficient so this is still sort of like old school tech Class A, B is nothing like astonishing or to write home about. It's not some class H, class D freak show. It's just like, it's, it's classy, just like Rebecca, it's classy. So it's got these massive heat sinks that are made out of aluminum. I'm gonna have to, it's on this weird stand thing, but um, we are warm right now. I've had this thing turned on for the last like two hours while I was doing reviews over there, just to sort of get it to temp. 
And I plugged in these speakers, which are relatively hard to drive. I brought out the uh, RB42s because we're gonna give them the test. This is the test. This $170 pair of speakers is the final test for any amplifier. Don't let anyone tell you different. Um, I could tell you sitting down right here because this is the exact same speaker setup in the exact same environment that I did the Star Crimson's and the LA90. The LA90 pushed these just fine. Then I did them in mono blocks and didn't do just fine. And then I did the Sabaj and it did just fine. Then I did the Stark Rimson and it did better than fine. And now here, well, that's better than just fine. So keep in mind, this is a little bit more than the LA90. LA90 has the benefit of three inputs. We'll get, you know what? Hold on. Let's look at the unit. I'm, let's hold on. All right, we'll bring it over here. I'll change the camera settings. I'll come back. So this, it's very warm, by the way. It is very warm. It is also remarkably heavy. And I think if you're going to pay $1,100 for an amplifier that's an old school amplifier, it should be built like an old school amplifier. Only thing is, this is built better than an old school amplifier because this top plate aluminum with a beautiful pattern in it matching the bottom of it the sides here entire they say that this is a five kilogram piece of aluminum that then gets 60 percent of its material removed to make each side's heat sink uh the the feet i actually have a problem with the feet because they're this silicone and they're huge and i put this down on my kitchen counter when i unboxed it and it acted like a suction cup and i couldn't get it up giggity um the back here's the back here's the true test of an amp what the fuck's back here almost nothing 12 volt trigger in and out whether you want this to trigger something else or something else to trigger this to turn it on uh 115 to 220 switch your main power bus in you get binding posts no weird um, bridge mono no nothing and then just xlr inputs that's it you can get adapters to run rcas in here i'll link them in the description but that's it. This that, that's it. You want to see the front? Want to see the controls in the front? This won't take long. Oh God. Um, Songkas carved into the fascia. Also, just like thick, stupid aluminum. Uh, bolts here are star heads that secure it. We have three LEDs that are slightly off center in the holes. I might be able to fix that with like a little screwdriver. It's, it's minor. It's just me staring at it. Uh, you get your VU meters, which I'm sure you're looking at, which have a zero mark to 200 watts. This unit is 120 watts into eight ohms, and then 240 watts into four ohms. So 200 watts at zero seems like a good way to go. We'll talk about this in a bit when it's running again, because I find the VUs, while classic, while a classic bright orange, they move real fast and they bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Um, here's your power button. Completely analog. There's no need for remote control. There's no way to control it. This is plastic. It's kind of unfortunate. It's got some smudging on it. I have to get off. But I, I, I wish this was glass. Like I think it would probably cost them another fucking $8 to make this out of glass and not plastic. But it's fine. The power of original sound, it says in there. In case you're wondering. So the three LEDs are power, out left, and out right. Those are just like diagnostic LEDs. If they don't come on, or if they clip or something goes bad, it'll turn off. Um, they're all orange, which is nice, because Sonkaz is usually nice orange stuff. Oh. God, this thing, this thing doesn't feel like a 2022 amp, except for the build quality. This feels like someone would have like, hey, did you get this on, on Craigslist? Oh, you got that for like $800. Cool. It's a vintage blah, 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 Japanese blah. But it is just a modern Sonkaz amp. Now, I'm going to go plug it all back in, but not turn it on because I want you to note something when I turn it on. All right, we are back and I'm going to turn it on. Now, I want you to listen. It didn't do it. Okay. It didn't do it this time. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I have a UPS for this whole room because there's a computer equipment here and amps and things. And I just have it all running off a single UPS back there. The first time I turned this on this morning, 
I heard that UPS give me the overload warning because it was charging the capacitors. Because it was running only, you know, 10 minutes ago when I took it off, took it, it didn't do it again. But I went, eh. I heard it go, eh, beep, beep, click, because it, it literally was switching the UPS from a surge. So this thing surged with how much power it drew. Do you want to take the top off? I'm going to take the top off. Come on, Chooms, let's take the top off. All right. Um, it's six T25 bits or six T25 screws. And I don't know how to actually lift this off of here because I haven't lifted it up yet. So I'm going to see if I could just like... Oh, that didn't work. All right, we're going to do a thing. While it's running, remember I'm a professional and uh, I wouldn't do this if I was you. Come on. Oh, there she goes. She's going. Oh, she's off. Oh, look at that. They even put material there to stop any foreign objects from passing through. That's... Why doesn't every amp do that? Because it's definitely going to get the heat through. Take that off. Let's see what's inside this. Again, I don't know what's inside. We're going to do this together. Let's get down on my knees. Because they don't show pictures of this online. Oh. Oh. Look at the size of those. I love the clear just speaker wire inside. Oh man, the heat coming out of this. Do not attempt this while it's plugged in and running. Dude, that is that is a clean install. That is taking the camera off my head and getting out of the way of the light. Hold on. Look at that. Look at this place. This place is sweet. There's your views. Uh, under this is our, oh, you can see the size of the capacitors. They're like D batteries. Connectors and things. This is just a shiny plastic with a bunch of swirly swirls on it now. If I make a smiley face in it, then oh, that's warm. Yeah, that's very warm. That's where a lot of our heat's coming from. That too. So that's our power supply. Here are our two individualized amp modules strapped directly to these heat sinks. So that this has got this is a vintage amplifier. This is a modern vintage amplifier with 0.0003% total amount of distortion, which I could tell you this much, this amplifier down here, the VSX D1S that I took from my father and then bought a second one. This is Japanese made 125 watts of channel into eight ohms. So like five watts more than what that's putting out. But that's 0 0.003. This is an extra zero. That means it's one one hundredth the distortion, at least if I don't know if they specify, they don't specify at what rating. That could be at 5 watts, that could be at 10 watts. So it's an A-weighted 0 0.0003. And then it's built like this. That's amazing. The simplicity, and yet... Because here's the thing. I'm listening on these speakers, which I love, and I know. And you have to just take my word for it. That this sounds as good as the other ones. All it has to do is sound as good. Here's the thing. I've had some I oh, don't lose that screw. I've had some remarkable luck. It comes with the uh, 12 volt trigger cable, by the way. Hold on, Dan's coming, oh shit. I've had some remarkable luck with amplifiers of late. Like everything Infineon is great. Even the cheapest SMSL is great. There's no shitty amplifiers anymore. So now we're just trying to figure out, do you want to go monoblocks for aesthetics, monoblocks for convenience, or inconvenience, probably inconvenience. It's like you're here to kill me. Um, do you want to go... It wasn't me standing here. It was just some random dude. Oh. Oh. I, I've been standing here for a little while. I could have grabbed that first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the point is, you're going to buy this because you're in love with it. Have you seen this, Dan? That is beautiful. Did, get closer and tell me that again. How much would you charge for an amplifier if you... I gotta take a picture of that so I can look at it. Like when I'm not here. Oh, Jesus. He's got a jack to it. Wait till you see the lid for it. Dan and I are about to... It better be transparent. Oh, it's it's better... Feel that. Oh, you can't see... Well, they got the... the that's to stop foreign particles from falling inside of it. 
Usually it's just a shitty piece of tin. That's a nice piece of machine. Oh, it and it's conductive too, so it shields it. I didn't even realize that. See, Dan, science over here. Anyway, um, I think they're gonna sell. It. You know how much? How much do you think this costs? It's over a thousand. It is. Under two. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. Eleven hundred. How many watts? A hundred and twenty per channel at eight ohms. Two hundred and hold on, let me check. It's two twenty at four ohms. And I'm assuming it sounds fantastic. Oh, I'll put it on. You tell me if it sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, 240 at 4 ohm and 120 at two, at 8 ohm. Here. Actually, move that. Have a seat right there, Dan. This is it. This is live. We're doing it live. I got to minimize this so we get more Rebecca. So she's the one you've grown attached to? You haven't finished the show right yet, right? Not yet. How far are you in? Still just the third episode. That's right. She, she doesn't show up till the end and she becomes best girl. Hold on, we'll test Dan. Indiana Jones. Nocturnal activities. I can't play too much because copyright. Dan, thoughts? I like it. That's it. Review over. Literally review over. So yeah, Dan is in love deeply with the uh, Bucart A700s. And I don't think these hit that, but they hit some They're notes. Close. That's the best. Three. That's the best thing I've ever heard. I just want to remind everybody that I'm not an audio person. Like I'm We can make we can change him. Anyway, the point I can't tell the difference. The fact that he looked in here and said that's beautiful is automatically enough for me. You you're buying an older this is an old design, it's just refined. It's 2022 refined to be great. Also, we tested with a fluke multimeter. This is not a conductive surface. It's just really nice plastic. It's just really nice plastic. So I like how they made sure the zip ties are a nice even gap. I can feel the heat coming off those. You know, this thing gets warm. That's good. It means, it means it's doing. He says it's doing. It's it's a doer. This is a doer. Like, you can get the other amplifiers Wait, I listed. Just, like, I'm, all, all the wire management is just really nice. But it's not too nice. It's, like, nice in a functional way, if that makes sense. Like, in here. You know. It's, 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 I don't like it when wires are, like, too nice, because then it looks weird. But these well, are... It's just really... Beautiful. They don't intend anyone to take the top off, and yet it still looks this good. Yeah, that's the thing. They didn't put a window there. If they put a window, there. and then they're like, oh, they're going to see it. No, they. You, no one's supposed to be able to see except for a glance in here. I'm going like, to put a waifu sticker right there. Big old titties. But they still cared. And then I'm going to cover it, and you're never going to know it's in there. Actually, you, you just barely see it through that. Oh, it's going to be amazing. That's my favorite part, actually, now that you pointed that out, is that I like it when people know that you're not going to... They can make it look like anything in here, mm -hmm. but they made it nice. Even though they didn't have to. And they, they don't show it. pictures on any of the websites of the inside of this. It's like, it's, I guess, what is it? Like a humbleness to it? It's like, it's just, it's not. Songkaz is a weird company. Songkaz makes some interesting, weird shit. And you know what? This is the best thing they make. I loved all their other things. This thing, just for the care, put, they said they took three years to like make this. And I, I believe them. See, for how much all that other stuff you have done here costs, it should all look like this. Yes. But, it, but they don't. All right. I'm done. I, I mean, what can I tell you other well, than and, this? And one last thing I'd like to point out is it looks like they celastic. You see this white goo on everything? Uh-huh. They actually celastic everything properly, so when they ship it, everything is going to break off. Well, this side doesn't have it as it's much probably, as no, that. No, you can see it underneath. Oh, it's in the bottom, yeah. Because yeah, like, it's mirrored. So what I've got to tell you is this sounds as floor. good as all the other stuff I've reviewed, probably a little better than maybe the Sabaj, although you got to hear that stack. That's cheap. That's two hundred less than two hundred dollars each for those, and they're individual monoblocks. I, I, I think once something is designed to sound good, it'll probably sound great. That's even, it. Even if it's not that expensive. Correct. Once you get the design right, once you once you change up, once you Rebecca it, you're good to go. Anyway, I'm gonna link to this and to the DAC that I'm using, which I muted. I hear it fade up. I'll link to the Bucart speakers. Uh, this this thing is do it doesn't do monoblock, but as for just an amp, if you can get around the electrical meter, which I should probably have my app up because that thing's probably cooking right now. What do you figure that thing's drawing? At idle. Can we check that with a, with a meter? You can just put a kilowatt on it. But right, do I have my kilowatt? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. We got to get a kilowatt. Dan doesn't want to read the description of the amp because it's going to no, piss him off. Because I every time I read something from an audio company, it's like it's so fucking wanky. I can't. I can't do All that. All right. It's currently off. It says zero watts at the bottom. We've plugged it in. I'm going to turn it on. Listen for the thing. 
what thing? 73, 58, 59, 61, 62, 63, 65. It's going up. Um, when I first turned this on this morning to charge the capacitors, it threw the UPS into overload. It was like beep, 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 beep. So yeah, remember when I said it would draw about 60 watts? Well, you're wrong. It's 69 watts. All right, it draws 69 watts idle. It's close. It's drawing 70 watts at and idle. And it doesn't go much higher when it starts playing. No, which is, oh, I just shut it off. I forgot this has a power button on top of it. But it takes a second and then look, and then the lights come on on the side, telling you that it's ready to good. It's good to go. Good to go. Let's play something loud and then see what happens. Let's see, minimize this. Uh, Chemical Brothers is currently playing. I think I have to unmute that. Whoa. So that shot up to 121 watts draw and then dropped back down to like 90? Probably 90% of it going straight into the bass. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all bass. Bass is always, if you want to be super efficient. Wait, what's the most bass heavy song you have in this list that you could play? I like LED spirals, hold on. And will these speakers explode? We're not gonna make them explode. I refuse. I've had them explode already once. Really? I blew one of these up playing Mad Max Fury Road at my old apartment when we were doing a bachelor party and I was using them as my front left and rights and I forgot to enable the mini DSP to cut the bass off. So it was just full range like music mode and it just went Bleh! and I was like, <laughs> it was it was not great. It was, it was not the greatest moment of my life. Oh, no. I don't know, we're lowering it. 85, 94, 112, 129, 158. Wow. 100, all right. So it's 150. It's probably going to get me copyright marked. If you don't hear any music in the last 12 seconds, it's because copyright came and said, oh, we're just going to block this worldwide. And we hit like 150 something watts. So no, she's. It, it can definitely dish out the power. I mean, I'm sure it's kind of funny. Whoa. Yeah, they didn't say their current rating was on the input, it was on the output, so. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you hook these to one of these giant speakers and went full power, it would probably do what it says. Honestly, these are probably harder to drive than those. Those are more efficient. Because bigger drivers move air easier. They go, whoa, and that moves a fuckload yeah, of air. You could turn the volume up higher without the risk of blowing them oh, up. Oh, I would not, yeah, I would probably push. Actually, no, we're, wait, we got to do that. We got, hold on one second, guys. We got to put up the, the test bed on. No, they won't get as loud as those, but they're going to try real hard. So anyway, now we have moved on. I'll, I'll lower the volume just a touch. We've moved on to the RB42s, my babies, and when amplified properly, did you tell me if these sound like 150? They were 130, then 150, then 170. Where'd the remote go? We'll back up LED spirals. Yeah, needing more, needing more power already. That is maximum power. Yeah, no, that's that's maximum power. That's full. Oh, did, we, did we even see? 170 watts. 169 watts. 168, 69, 70 watts. That's as full as this goes. It's not distorting because I've put these on the LA90 there, and, and that- if you played like a really horrible test tone or something, you could probably get it to go home. I don't want to just, no, no, please, please no. Anyway, no so likes. this is equivalent to Stark Rimson monoblocks, only single with the VU meter, hot as fuck. Like the, the thing is, these are not, this is not efficient. This is not getting any of the benefit of like oh, modern- 170 watts, 70, 70 of it is just being thrown away. Yeah, 70 watts, this is on, you're throwing 70 watts into the trash for heat, keeping all the shit going inside. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's a room heater. Um, but it's the prettiest room heater I've seen in a long it's while. It's the best sounding room heater I've ever heard. Those speakers are great. Dan, have you never, have you never heard the RB42s? All right, I'm gonna let Dan listen to the RB42s for um, a little bit. And then we're gonna continue doing mini splits. Uh, this channel so soon to be sponsored by, they're so small. But here, listen to this. They're basically solid. There's just probably no no volume inside of them. They're they're dumb. Anyway, this linked on 
uh, uh, place, Linsol. Thank you, Linsol, for sending it out. Thank you, Sonkaz, for giving a shit and putting every little bit of effort into this that no one was going to see. They don't even show pictures of it. They just did it for fucking gratification on their own side. Link to that. Actually, I'll link to the Netflix page for Cyberpunk. Uh, link to RB42s. Link to Bucarts. Link to Dan's channel. Dan, you got to do more shit in your channel. Yeah, I have stuff coming out How many? How much stuff, Dan? Three projects. 300 hours. <laughs> Three, he's gonna, one day he's just going to have every content for his entire life and be done with it. Anyway, that was cool. I'm cool. Dan's cool. Patreon subscribers to support this channel. Participate in yard sales. Uh, for five dollars a month, see reviews early for five dollars a month. Don't make a beg. <laughs> Don't make a beg. Uh, Ten dollars a month gets you in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat where you can ask me questions directly. And also, once you're in that, you are in a lifetime swap meet channel, so you can buy, sell, and trade gear with other members. And yeah. And don't forget to check out, I have a free Discord and a free Telegram chat, which I sometimes frequent, and uh, Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums, and I'm just going to go back to shuffling and put on some Frankie Goes to Hollywood, or maybe, you know... Oh, that sounds so good!